stress corrosion. Stress corrosion happens someplace where there's a lot of load on a part, where there's a lot of stress. So something like a, a fitting or a, a wing skin that is a stress skin, it's carrying a lot of load, it's flexing. Uh, you'll get corrosion in these areas and part of the working back and forth of the metal causes the stress corrosion. It's the simultaneous effects of tensile stress and a corrosive environment that produce stress corrosion. If a part is in a stress condition and, con and it also is in contact with an electrolyte, severe corrosion can occur. Internal stresses often produced by non-uniform deformation during cold working, such as bending a piece of metal, driving rivets, bolting. If you beat on a piece of metal, you put stress into it, you put stress riser, and this is one ingredient for stress corrosion. Another example of fretting corrosion. Fretting corrosion requires some kind of movement of the metal. Here's another picture, and we're going to see fretting corrosion where two pieces of metal attach usually, and they work back and forth. Also someplace like where a rivet or a bolt goes through. This allows movement of the metal. The wings and tails and engine mounts, they all flex in flight, and this works metal back and forth. You add that with some sort of electrolyte and oxygen, and you can get a corrosion. Fretting is a gradual wear by means of rubbing or gnawing action between two surfaces. Fretting corrosion is combined action of fretting as well as corrosion, which involves corrosion at points where two metal surfaces make contact by a means of rubbing action. 